my distinguished colleague for being here. As a, I really appreciate the support. I'm glad to see the federal government also understands how crucial this bill is, and I would love to see it pass federally. I think there's a few problems we need to take care of in Washington <laughs> before that happens. So everybody's been explaining the bill. I'll just remind everyone of the nickname for the bill, Make Polluters Pay. That's what we're talking about. We know exactly who has created this climate crisis. There's actually economists and scientists who have done the research showing exactly which companies are responsible for how much of that pollution year by year by year going back decades. This legislation would apply an assessment to the worst of them, probably about 30 to 35 companies, and New York State, under my legislation, would be able to collect $3 billion a year for 25 years, $75 billion. You just heard my, um, my colleagues talk about $52 million just to deal with one major project here at the bottom of Manhattan. The governor has reported this year alone, New York State's had a billion dollars. We're very, we're not even that far into the year. We've already had a billion dollars worth of climate damage that the state of New York and the people of New York are having to pay for. We have to make sure that the people who did this to us are at least held accountable for some share of the responsibility for doing the repairs, the mitigation, the changes we need to make. And I think it's also clear, but I'll say it again, they can afford it. They're making money hand over fist, even violating federal laws involving the war in the Ukraine and Russia to continue to make these unbelievable amounts of money. So sometimes I get asked, usually by people who were hired by the oil and gas companies, well, won't they just increase consumers' prices, therefore it's still going to be the consumers paying? The answer is no. This is not going to be a tax that they can actually roll over to consumers. This will be an assessment on one set of companies. And if they raise their prices, they won't be competitive with everybody else who wants to sell oil and gas until we finally get rid of it. I've even had people say, but they'll leave New York State. They don't exist in New York State. None of these companies are actually in New York State. And trust me, they'll keep trying to sell us oil and gas for as long as we still let them not to worry. So they can afford this. We need the money. They should be held responsible in many different ways for what they have done since they knew about it for decades and decades. And we can at least try to recoup some of the costs that the people who live here in New York State are going to have to be paying for decades and decades and decades. So I thank my colleagues in Albany for supporting the bill. I'm hoping to get it over the finish line um, in the next nine days in Albany. Um, I thank my federal colleagues for being so committed to this issue that they even tried to get it into a federal bill. And maybe if there were a few more Democrats there, they could have pulled that off. Um, so I'm delighted to be here with everyone, including the people who actually represent uh, this beautiful part of Manhattan. Thank you. Who am I turning it over?